Welcome. Let's understand about electrical soil resistivity. Soil resistivity is a key factor for determining what the resistance of a grounding electrode will be, to what depth it must be driven, in order to obtain low earth resistance, and even the type of grounding system that should be designed for this location and facility. The resistivity of the soil varies throughout the world and changes seasonally. Resistivity is strongly affected by the content of electrolytes in the soil, the moisture content, and even its temperature. Soil resistivity measurements are therefore critical for designing and constructing a grounding system appropriate for your site. In this video, we refer to both soil resistivity and soil resistance to avoid possible confusion. It's important to have a basic understanding of what these terms mean and how they differ. Simply put, resistance represented by the letter R. It's a property of a specific physical item of definite size and shape. While resistivity represented by the Greek letter Rho is a general property of a material, irrespective of its shape and size. For example, a 100-foot length of 10-gauge copper wire has a specific resistance measurable in ohms. While copper as a material possesses a general resistivity, expressed in units such as ohm centimeters or meters, changing the length or gauge of the wire changes its resistance, while the resistivity of the copper from which it is made remains the same. This video demonstrates a simple way to measure soil resistivity known as the winner method. The two outer electrodes, called the current electrodes, inject current into the soil. The two inner electrode called the potential electrodes measure voltage, which is then used to calculate soil resistance. Other distances can be used as long as depth does not exceed 1 20th of the spacing. Note that when calculating the spacing to depth ratio, the spacing distance is the primary value. Determine the electrode spacing first, and then adjust the depth accordingly. The two outer electrodes are connected to the instrument outer terminals, labeled H and E. The inner electrodes are connected to the inner terminals, labeled S and ES, to enable the instrument to accurately calculate soil resistivity, we must enter the electrode spacing distance. Instrument automatically calculates soil resistivity, using a formula that assumes the auxiliary electrodes, are inserted into the ground to a depth, that does not exceed 1 20th of the spacing distance between electrodes. So the electrodes 10 feet apart, and no more than 6 inches deep. Note that you can also perform a winner test by taking a solid resistance measurement and then manually applying a mathematical formula to calculate soil resistivity as shown here. For depth less than or equal to 20th spacing and for any depth by spacing ratio, Nowadays advanced measuring instruments are available, some of the features are shown here. Instrument automatically calculates and displays soil resistivity with no manual calculations necessary. Instrument have advanced capabilities, such as test currents up to 250 mA, testing soils with high resistivity, automatic test, frequency selection for testing in high EMI environments, and the ability to connect to a computer data view analysis software. Unit change option is also available like feet or meter. Save the measurement in the instrument's memory. Saves the reading along with the date and time the reading was taken. The stored record can later be displayed on the instrument screen and downloaded to a computer using data view for further analysis. Conclusion Designing earth ground systems should consider the type of soil. The most important parameter is soil resistivity. Smaller soil resistivity means easier construction of grounding, which fulfills the requirements. Soil resistivity testing is the process of measuring a volume of soil to determine the conductivity of the soil. 
The resulting soil resistivity is expressed in ohm meter, or ohm centimeter. Soil resistivity testing is the single most critical factor in electrical grounding design. This is true when discussing simple electrical design to dedicated low resistance grounding systems or to the far more complex issues involved in ground potential rise studies, GPR. Good soil models are the basis of all grounding designs and they are developed from accurate soil resistivity testing. Thank you for your attention and time. More stuff coming soon. Don't forget to subscribe.